Hey, what's up, Ethan? This is a quick demo video for you for your Jawas Junkyard Youngling V4. This is a saber that you had Austin over at Story Workshop weather for you and then sent it over to me for an install. It is a one button setup, which is right here. All right. Um, you have got a Carl Chen V4 NeoPixel adapter. We'll take a better look at that here in a second. Um, to get your chassis out, you got to do two things. Uh, don't forget to do this first thing, which is grab this switch and pull it out. It's on a magnet right here. Leon loves his magnetic switches. You've got to pull that out or you'll ruin it. All right, so pull that out first. And we're going to come over here and we're going to take off this button head screw in the back. All right, we're going to talk about this pommel a little bit too. So we're going to take off this button head screw. Place it off to the side. Um, I like to take, I'm using the, my tweezers, or you can take anything that will fit, really. But if you look carefully, if I can focus, you'll see that little divot right there in the pommel. You want to put something in there and kind of like push up on it a little bit. Okay, and once you do that, you can kind of pull this out. I'm going to do this over the table so I don't drop it. Uh, the chassis in here. Spend a lot of time on it. So um, we'll take the pummel off. You'll see your chassis. You can pull it out. Just carefully pull it out as a tight fit. I believe there's just a little bit of inconsistency in here because it is hollowed out wood, uh, but not too bad. Everything fits fine. All right, just, just know that. All right, so this is your chassis. You would ask me to come up with kind of a brass hybrid chassis for you. So you've got um, a crystal chamber over here, all brass, lightly weathered. It's got a real quartz crystal in there and it has its own NeoPixel accent. There's that V4 blade connector I was telling you about. So that's up here at the very top. Down here you have your kill switch. It's in the off position right now. Um, right behind this brass paneling you have a 16 pixel or a 16 pixel strip NeoPixel accent. It's got some diffusion behind it so you don't see the actual strip, but that has its own blade style. All right, and then up here is your uh, board cover. It's on two magnets and it comes off really easily. You can just pull it right off. Um, I do have some diffusion material on the back side of this so that we can light up this area right here. All right, and we do that by the five pixel strip that I put on top of the board. This is a Profi V3. Um, you can get to your SD card from right here and your micro USB. You just need a 90 degree data cable. Uh, I programmed it from here and I took the SD card in and out from here and it works fine. All right. In the event that that makes you uncomfortable, you can pop this board up. It is just a press fit, uh, a pretty tight press fit though, so it doesn't come loose. What else do we got over here? It does say, I can focus on it. It says Jawas Junkyard Youngling over here in Arabesh. Uh, it just says Solo Sabres over here for me. You've got a removable battery setup, so spring side for the negative side of your battery is over here by your 28 millimeter smuggles out post elite speaker. All right, you've got a spacer here in the pummel. Don't take that out, it's just a press fit, but that is to have uh, something for the speaker to rest up against and it pushes it forward into the saber. All right, so uh, the pummel, when this saber came, um, this pummel was absolutely impossible to get out of the saber. I reached out to Austin and talked to him about it. Uh, he was having some of the same issues. It just comes like that. The kit comes with this pummel where it, it is just locked into this saber. Uh, so what I did was I did a little bit of sanding on the inside of this diameter right here. I wasn't getting very far with that. So what I did is I, I ended up eventually just locking this into my lathe and machining off just a little bit. I stopped right shy of where this pummel would be visible when it's locked into the saber so you won't see any of the shiny part but i did take all that off where you can see the shiny part all right so it does come off a lot easier that way um, just know that's why the difference in color all right so let's put the board cover back make sure that you put the window side towards the back side of the board and that's what the battery, that's what the board cover looks like up close. Just a little bit of some circuitry going on right there. All right, so let, let me find my battery. We'll put a battery in. This is a Key Power 18650. This is your 
single switch setup. This is a tactile switch. It also has a magnet glued onto it. All right. That is what's going to, you know, when you we drop this on the outside of the saber and line that up, it's just going to catch it just like that. All right. But when we put the battery in, we can come over here and hit power or the kill switch rather. So you've got that LED strip going on on the side of your chassis. You've got a pulsing crystal. And then you've got this on top of the board. Now the, the LEDs on top of the board are wired in at, on the same line as this LED strip right here. But there's just less LEDs so it gives off a different visual effect. All right. We came over here and hit power. These are going to ramp up. Your crystal is going to go solid. And of course these LEDs light up as well. And you've got, you've got twist off. Now when you want to put this into the saber, you have to do some aligning. Okay, so uh, basically the easiest way to do it is to see this groove right here in the pummel. It's the only one in there. This groove right here. You need to line up this groove with the switch that's in your chassis. All right, so just make those on the same plane like so. Switch and groove, okay? And we'll take the, uh, kind of hold it there. Make sure that's perfectly aligned. Hold that there. Push this chassis in and line up your tactile switch, which is right here. You've got to line that up with that hole that that plunges in. All right, so we'll do that very carefully here. Unfortunately, I can't do it in front of the camera. I have to do it right in front of my face so I can see what I'm doing. But if you did everything correctly, when you push this pummel all the way in and you look inside that hole, you'll be able to see that little magnet there that the uh, plunger goes onto. So when you drop this in, it lines right up and you can hit power. Right. But before you play with it, you got to come over here and you got to lock it down. So we're going to take that little button head screw that we took out at the very beginning. And we're going to put that back in here. That locks the pommel in place. That keeps the chassis in place. The plunger in place. Everything is good to go that way. Now, it's a very solid saber. We can hit power again. Very loud. Auxiliary or blaster bolts are just tapping. Super loud saber. Uh, blade lockup is a double tap, but then hold it down on the second tap. And we'll do a twist off and put a blade in it. This is made for a 7 8 inch blade. All right, so put our 7 8 inch blade in here. Come down over here and lock our blade retention screw down. Hit power again. And it lights up a blade very nice. The blade lock up. Bright. <laughs> you just have my sound font on here for now. There is a copy of the config file on the SD card, although I did make some changes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've been con I've been in contact with you through Messenger. I'm just going to send you the updated config file through there. All right. Um, I think I forgot to change it to a B3 on this config. I had to go back and do that while I was loading it up. Uh, so no, no worries. I'll send that to you. Double tap to play your soundtrack. Right, another double tap to turn it off. And a long press if you had multiple sound fonts. <laughs> so that's how you go to the next sound font. All right, so we'll go ahead and break this down real quick. Loosen this up a little bit. Take our blade out. 7 8 inch blade, which is really cool. We'll come over here. We're going to take that button head screw out again. But before we take anything else out, we're going to come over here. We're going to grab our plunger switch and pull that out so we don't ruin it. Get something like this and put it in that little groove and just kind of pop up. When you do that, you can slide this right out. If your chassis doesn't come out, you can put your finger through here and it will slide right out into your hand just like that. All right. You can see it going from here, but we'll go ahead and turn on anyway. And then we'll flip the kill switch. 
and it kills power all right and you can come over here and take your battery out just like that um, but that is your youngling v4 with brass chassis uh, let me know if you have any questions and i'll get this out in the mail to you tomorrow thanks ethan <laughs>